uh, uh, cost, I mean, uh, concerned about here is your fixed cost, not your variable cost, not your impactful cost, not your direct cost, it's your fixed cost. So for a lot of us, we are going to incur NEPA bills, we are going to incur salaries, we are going to pay salaries. Rent. Sorry? Rent. Rent, good. Fuel for, Fuel for your generator. What else? Government. Sorry? Government. Local government fees. Very good. Advertisement. Carriage. Carriage. Carriage, that's um, when, you, when you go to the market to bring your stuff in. Good. Uh, what else? Maybe for, for the food processors, those who are processing food, uh, what's it called? Your fixed cost will be something like uh, maintaining your shop, maintaining the place. You call the painter to come and, you know, paint the place, or you call the carpenter to fix the table, to clean the, the, the cleaners. Furniture. Exactly. Your furniture and fittings. No, your furniture, are, they are your assets. But for your business to run, what are those costs? Yes, your furniture and fit, they are your assets. They are your, they, in fact, the, it will be somewhere in this place, but that's just for accounting purposes. But for the purpose of this uh, application, what are those expenses that are direct, I mean, that are fixed? That's just what they want to know. Like, even for e-commerce, your fixed, your fixed costs are those costs you will pay every month for the uh, maintenance of the domain. Now, your domain uh, provider will come and say, okay, madam, uh, please, we are, we, this is your bill for the month of January. Okay, thank you very much. Your internet access is fixed. So these are costs that you will look at. Now, if you analyze all those costs, they have a value. You will put the value there. And then they now want you to, know, to identify what number of products that you have to sell that will cover this cost. So for instance, in a month, you pay salaries, you pay for generator, you pay for rent, you pay local government, everything is totaling about, let's say, roughly 20,000 Naira. What they're asking you here is this. Is this business good enough to make a revenue that will cover 20,000 Naira? That is what they're asking there. Your break even volume. Now, what number of units are you going to sell? Now, let's, let's look at the... Let's, uh, pardon me for using the fish because I like fish a lot. Now, for the fish, if you sell 500 units, let's say at... Um, let's say 100 Naira. That's 500,000 units. That's 500,000 Naira. Assuming you've sold all the, five, you sold all the 500 for 100 Naira. That's 500,000 Naira. Now, your fixed cost for that month is, let's put that, 450,000. That business has more than broken even. He has the business, the volume she has sold is more than the fixed cost she has incurred in that month. So the business, for them, they will look at this and say, this business looks profitable. That means she can cover her fixed cost comfortably. Now, if in a month she now sold 200 and her fixed cost is always fixed at 450,000, that's 200,000. On a monthly basis, if, she's, if she doesn't sell above 200, that means she hasn't achieved break even volume. So they will be looking out for this and say, ah, should we give this kind of person money? Because she's not. This business, she, there's something she needs to do to be able to push the volume higher to cover 450,000 Naira salary, rent, uh, local government, advertisement, and the likes. So your business, you must be able to push your business. They want to know if you can actually push that business or the, what you are producing to be able to sell it enough to achieve, to cover your fixed costs. Now let's look at the example of a hairdresser. I, have, I had an auntie who used to, you know, do a hairdressing business. We used to discuss a lot then. I used to ask her, I said, how, more, how do you know you are making profit? She would tell me, ah, you know, when my customer comes and they pay me money, you know, all the money for that day. And I said, ah, auntie, that's not true. Now, for a hairdresser, your fixed cost, you pay local government, you pay rent, you pay electricity bills, 
you pay sorry you buy water hey, for maybe for some people yeah some people even um, channel water into their shops or whatever or some people buy a uh, hair hey. now in the in the this thing you buy you buy uh, what's it called some people even do what is called uh, the extra they go the extra mile they buy soft drinks they buy all those stuff for the for the shop now all these your costs they are fixed your hairstylist is there even even if you are the only one but maybe you have somebody a, a little girl who cleans up who sweeps who maintains the place now your fixed cost at the end of the month after you have paid all this money let's say it's fifty thousand let's just put let's say twenty thousand now your revenue all your customers that came in at in that month you you calculate it and say how much did i get from all these women and uh, that came to do their hair and in the, in the month of january we need to cover this fixed cost so you must be able to do your classification well for you to know that all these ones are fixed all these ones are direct now for direct impact you know if you buy uh, what's it called a gel maybe there's a gel you buy for five thousand naira. if you use that gel on four people in a day that gel you have there's a cost implication on four people if you use it on two people you use less isn't it uh -huh. so that's impactful it has it has impact on the cost so this is what they are asking you here are your businesses what you sell what you produce what you package together is it going to cover this your fixed cost so first identify your fixed cost then identify your total revenue in that month and then find out if it covers this what it means by covering is like i said if you make 500 and your cost is 450 it adequately covers it if you make 200 and your cost is still 450 it hasn't covered it so that's what they are looking out for in this place now break even revenue which is just a fallout of this one is saying what amount must business generate to cover all its fixed operational costs which is still the same thing if i sell 500 fingerlings today my revenue is at 100 naira my revenue is what 500 thousand that's what they are just asking there that's all it's not a, a, a the english they've used here has already covered this one so your volume is how much units must i sell that will make me to overcome all these costs i listed as fixed costs so one major thing you should be able to do to be able to fill out this form is go back and think you and your assistant or your colleague what are the fixed costs what are those costs that if today i sell i do 1000 I, I, I rent 1000 chairs it will not affect the 1000 i will still pay that money advertisement you will pay for adverts lagos state will collect adverts you will pay for the foil of your car that's the, the of your truck you will pay the salary of those boys who come and help you you know pack up and everything so what are those fixed costs go and identify them list them out and then basically assess your revenue and see whether it covers if it does not cover then you need to now sit back and you know consider what you need to do for this for the units to be able to push the volume up to cover the break even i mean to cover your fixed cost sorry um is this okay so that's just what they're asking i don't know if you have any question yes okay in this aspect are we expected to list all those things house for them to see or do your sum it up no it's a summary but you are going to list you know uh, they want so to they know just 30 words. exactly that was so you in your own in your own paper 